Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nishan. This is Shelter. So let's start this wonderful game. Well, the deal is uh, you are a badger. And not just a badger, you are a badger mom. So we are gonna try to keep our small badger puppies alive. So, yeah, I remember that I have played this game once more and I managed to kill all my badgers. <laughs> uh, so I guess probably I will actually finish uh, this playthrough, but I will do my best uh, to finish. The first time I went inside here, there is an invisible wall in that direction and I, I couldn't figure out what to do and they didn't want to eat it. Yeah, so this little cute badger, he's not dead. He just need food. Come on. Why is, he, is he, why is he not eating? Maybe if I put it more in front of him. Come on, badger. What? This is... Uh, this is weird. He is supposed to eat. Maybe I need to shout at him. Oh, there we go! Oh, I, I was... Uh, yeah, so when they turn grey, uh, they are starting to get hungry and need food, so now we can continue. Yeah, so you're wondering, why does a stealth and strategy game and sometimes role-playing channel do a shelter game? Yeah, I don't really know why, actually. I just enjoy uh, animals. Uh, I was uh, born in the southern Sweden on the countryside, so nature, I've been very close to it. And when I grew up, uh, I moved to the city, but I still enjoy nature. Uh, I've never actually seen a badger in nature uh, yeah, alive. Uh, I saw it once when I, I used to hunt and stuff, uh, and uh, we got to a um, convention where uh, they had a, a real badger in, a, uh, what do we call this, the caves the badger lives in. And uh, yeah, so uh, but I've see, seen one at the zoo, but I've never seen one in nature. I remember once in, uh, when I was really small, I actually saw a fox. Where, where I lived, uh, all the foxes d died out in a plague. So yeah. So now I'm a badger mom. <laughs> so, but I, I kind of enjoy this game. I got everyone killed the last time I played. Uh, but uh, I've, uh, maybe I can... Uh, so, the thing is, I need to keep them alive. Okay, it is a butterfly. Come on, badger puppies. And... Uh, so we need to keep them healthy. So, here you go, guys. Some uh, turnip or uh, whatever it could be. Yeah. And uh, this doesn't really make sense, but if you bump the tree... Uh, food will fall down, so let's w wait for our small badger friends. Yeah, so I'll always enjoy nature. Uh, I, I uh, never seen a badger, but one of the things I remember there was uh, this older guy, and he told me that badgers was really fierce animals. The other animals in the forest, uh, they actually respected a badger. There was nobody messing about with a badger, so yeah, they are very tough animals. And uh, I never, uh, I think uh, this is kind of weird, but they are called puppies, so maybe, I don't know why they, so they are called puppies. Uh, it, 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 can, it depends, maybe, because you kill the bears, uh, bears, uh, a shield in a cub, I think. Maybe it's big bad your pop cubs. I don't know. I, as you may have already noticed on my accent, yes, I'm not a native speaker, so uh, you have to forgive me. Okay, here are some more apples for our little bad your puppies. Come on, puppies. And they look healthy because they turn gray, so. Yeah, I remember as a boy, I really loved uh, growing up in the nature. I used to uh, look on, uh, talking about frogs, oh, I catch frogs. I didn't really like frogs, they was really slimy and stuff. Uh, and I didn't really like them, and I remember uh, me and another boy, we, we were was trying to catch frogs. And we had uh, their small 
before they turn frogs? Oh, that frog escaped from us. Yeah. Uh, so we had a, uh, frogs, uh, and I, I, I couldn't touch them. I think it was awful. I really had a phobia, but I wanted so much to play with them because it was so fun to play with them. Uh, so we managed to take the spawn or whatever you call the frog children and uh, raise them and they would turn into real frogs and we named them and everything and uh, uh, feed them flies and then we used to uh, let them out in the stable. Uh, my mother or father, my mother was a horse breeder so she breed ours and we let the frogs, uh, we let them out and had jumping contacts and races with our frogs. Come on. Fuck. Come on, Badger. You can do it. Oh, I got him. Yeah, as you already guessed, the Badgers uh, eat me too. So, yeah, so we managed to uh, uh, <laughs> rather frog. And I remember it was uh, heartbreaking because I remember I tried to stop the frog. Uh, by uh, putting down my foot in front of it, but I stepped on it, and I remember I was so sad. I, I killed a frog. It was an awful feeling to kill an animal uh, by mistake, not intentional or, or anything. And so yeah, that was a sad story about a frog. But it, I think they, it is like people growing up in the countryside. We have a uh, it's a really good place for kids because we, you uh, learn to live in the nature and uh, respect the animals and uh, you, understand, you, you, you get a, a kind of experience uh, with nature and animals like uh, a city born uh, kid, children will never have. So, but, but there's nothing wrong to grow up in the city, but it's a different experience, of course. Okay, I think we need to go in this generation. So, our bad your puppies? Uh, yeah, so... I thought about when I did this last play, it's not really much happening, and... So, I, I thought I was gonna fill it with my <laughs> uh, nature antidotes. I have a lot of those. Uh, maybe remind me. We used to have an apple tree uh, that I climbed. And I remember uh, another story, I uh, have tons of these stupid stories, and there's nothing really exciting, but uh, we had kittens uh, uh, that uh, was running around, and I remember I was playing with a kitten, and he ran up to the, uh, our apple tree. Uh, and when he came up to the apple tree, he, he, uh, as he was just a kitten, he, 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 he was afraid, it was no problem for him to climb the tree, but he got scared, so he didn't want to uh, jump off the tree or climb back. And I remember, and I, I, thought, I thought so often for a little kitten, so I climbed the tree uh, up with the tree and uh, tried to catch the... Wait, this is a rat. Let's see. Oh no, he's... He escaped for us. Yeah, so I tried to uh, climb the tree, and when I climbed the tree, let's wait and see if we can get the one of these. My puppies are hungry. Maybe if you hide in the grass a bit. Come over here, puppies. Yeah, so I climbed the tree, uh, and the cat we didn't want to go back, so I had to force itself. And I remember, uh, I remember that. The, the cat didn't want to go uh, down, but I wanted to get him down, and he wanted, he wouldn't uh, let go. So he he, he, he he climbed on me with his claws, he had, was hanging on my skin, and I was so afraid to uh, drop the kitten, so I just had to manage the pain. And I was like nine years old, it's really hard for a nine or kill, so I just have to manage the pain I felt. Uh, so I got the kitten down. I got it down, but it was re I was bloody afterwards. Uh, that uh, was really uh, interesting uh, uh, feeling that you, uh, you, you had, I had to do the pain for something better to uh, help the kitten. Uh, I think that empathy for animals uh, you get when you uh, live close to animals. Or uh, you, you see uh, animals and individuals and personalities, you know, uh, yeah, that was a sad story, but it would turn out good. 
Oh, yeah, the puppies are not very fast, so you have to kind of check. Oh no, he's turning grayer, we need to find him food. Oh, I, I need to find my pot. They will die if I don't find food. Okay, but here are some food. Come on, puppies. Uh, and I don't want one of you healthy guys to eat it. I wanted you to eat it here. Yeah, he took it. Sometimes one of their healthy one will take it. Uh, I don't know if it matters or not, but I think they are individual health. Oh, yeah. I didn't manage to take this. I've, I wonder what this is. This is probably a fox. That was what I was talking about. That's why I was talking about foxes before. Oh, look. Can we go down there? No. Yeah, this game is beautiful in its own way. They have uh, managed to create... Okay, let's try if we can sneak up to him. That, that is kind of the thing when you grow up in the nature uh, outside. You see, do you see animal dying? And that's a natural thing. You see the animals hunting, killing each other. That's a natural thing. You know? and, uh, that's also, I think, is very hard for uh, someone that hasn't experienced death. Uh, uh, it's a very hard thing to handle, especially when you're younger. You don't really understand why things are as they are. But... Oh, he saw me. He's just uh, sneaking, so... Okay, let's... Yeah, we must remember that we are moms first. Uh, we're not... Yeah, so... And this game is kind of a survival uh, game. You kind of keep track of your puppies uh, and keep them fed. Uh, I, I, I wonder if I can catch that fox. Come on, foxy. Foxy fox. Oh, there is some food. Okay, let's see. Come on, puppy. Oh man, they are losing color. I don't like that. I don't want anyone to die. Okay, there are some apples here. It's a double apple free, so yeah. Come on, puppy. Yeah. I see that a lot of animals die. I even killed animals myself. And uh, it's kind of uh, this experience, you get the milk and stuff, uh, but I, I have seen cows, I've seen big cows being milked. Uh, you kind of have another relation to things when you see everything for real, it can becomes real. It's most, a lot of people today probably have just seen milk in a box, I've never seen a cow. Oh, that, that's one of the healthy ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there is some food down there. It is double food. I don't think we will go. Uh, yeah, this game doesn't give you really any, any uh, instruction at all. So you kind of have to try to understand how it works anyway. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try to separate. I want the rice puppy to get it. He's very gray, that one. Yeah, but not. Come over here. Uh, that one looks a little bit gray, doesn't it? Uh, I, I had a friend that played this game too, and he managed to save all the barriers. I, I, I'm not sure if I can do that. I'm still learning the game. It's an interesting game uh, being a barrier. I wonder why they choose a barrier. And uh, speaking of Sweden, the guy that's made this game are from Sweden. The, the, the game studio is in the capital of Sweden. And that's just kind of the middle of Sweden. So yeah, it's a long way from the southern part of Sweden where I grew up. Come on, puppy. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I, I don't like this. We need to be able to... I think it's a hawk. And we need to time this. Uh, next time I sweeps over us, I will run with my puppies. Come on, puppies. Yeah, we made it so far. 
and I try to keep my bearings uh, okay. So I'm just looking around in case I get lost so I have some reference where I'm going. Okay, come on. Badger the badgers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, no, 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 no. Oh man, I, I thought you were gonna take my last ba badger puppy. Come on, puppies. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that was the way we came. So we probably need to move in this direction. But here, we are safe here in the grass, you can see us. Let's see if we can find... Yeah, we can go this way. I think I'm too big. Because I'm a tough bat here. Come on, Bowie! Puppies! Come on, come on, come on, come on! No, 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 no! Oh, man! <gasps> Yee, boos. That was one of my puppies. Did he get one of my puppies? I don't think so. It was just close. Okay. Can't see him. I think we are safe. No! Come on, 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 I think we need to go all the way over there. So this will be a tough. I'm just gathering up my puppies. Yeah. I can't see him, but we see his shadows. Okay, go guys. Oh man, that was, this is nerve wrecking. I think this must be the place we need to go, yeah. Yes, that was the way we came. Okay, uh, let's wait for one more moment. Okay, he's coming. Let's go. Oh, one of them now are gray. Are we safe here? Let's go. I think we may have made it. How many puppies do I have? I think I have five. Oh, what a mom I am. I don't even remember how many puppies I have. Oh. Yeah, so this is where we are now. We are on a new level and we will continue here in the next episode. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>